<laughs> I got you, Jeffrey. So we got these laid out every four feet. So we started our first one down there where we wanted to start and then found the stud or the, the uh, truss. Middle of that truss, put, started our first one, made sure we we're in the middle of the truss. Then we laid out four feet up here on the, on the white part of the roof. And then just basically mounted those on the top yellow line, the screw in the top yellow line, which will have those sit just perfect for the next row. I'll show you in a minute. All right, we're laying out solar brackets on the roof. Plan that, or uh, they'll overhang about a foot below those, this panel's wheel. Basically, we're just finding the line. We're going off this yellow line. This is our bracket, put a little caulking down, put the bracket and screw right in the yellow line. And then this uh, flashing goes over top, screws in the top. Make sure you push, when you put it on, that this screw here, push the shingle all the way down to where that's tight, and tighten it down. And then the next row will be roofed right over top of it. Okay, so a little bit of roof and tar right below my four foot mark. That's four foot, I'll trust it's a four foot, or a two foot on center. I'm going four foot on these. Put it right below my uh, mount. Put it right on the yellow line, torque it down. Yeah, I got that driven in. My four foot mark, this is the flashing that goes above it. This just goes here like this. And this bolt goes through into the lag in the back. Take the old gun, slowly. Boom. And then he'll roof over top of it. No, they'll end up looking like that. From that to look like that. Also, guys, if you're not accustomed to being on a roof, you don't want to scar it because if you, your toes on it, will scar the heck out of it. Take an old cushion from a sofa and sit on that, and also it'll grab the roof, and you will not slide at all. I'm not saying get up on a roof. Okay, guys, this is step flashing or wall flashing. So that's done. You put one layer of roofing in right here. You see, you got this roof, this layer of roofing. You put a step shingle at the seam, so it's going to be below. So basically, if you look at this, there's a piece of metal down there. So the water hits this and has nowhere to go but into the roof. That's the correct way to do a step flashing. So we set these up to be. So we're going to put obviously unit strut on the bottom, unit strut on this one. There's a whole another rope there, but we built it so that. We have about a three and a half foot walkway from the bottom. So the, the solar panels are seven and a half feet tall. So on this bottom row, it'll extend about 16 inches below this mount, overhang, and then on the top, it'll overhang, whatever, whatever that is, like a foot and a half. And then we're gonna butt the next one right up next to it. So we're jumping from that to that, to about like eight and a half feet up from that one, or nine feet, something like that. From the bottom bracket up to the third bracket. Uh, but then, I, like I said, that depends on which solar panels you get. Ours are seven and a half feet tall. Okay, so I'm laying out the struts now <clears throat> up on the roof. Our panels are 45 inches wide, and obviously they're going up and down. So 45 inches. So right here we have all these plumbing vents right in the middle of the roof in line. So that's good. So I'm basically going to butt, I'm going to put a, one edge of the panels right there, on, obviously on the edge of that strut, and go across, and it's out um, for six panels across there, um, 270 inches, so 270 inches or 45 inches times six is 270 inches. So right there in the middle, I'll have to cut some unistrut piece out together on all those. But basically, I'll be able to put 12 panels on that side of the roof, and then maybe 10 on the other side behind me anyway so that's what it looks like so far and then they're just lagged in there or not lagged in the just screwed into the mounts the mounts come with all the hardware those mounts are about ten dollars a piece <laughs> i have 60 of them so you do the math it's about six hundred dollars and just just these mounts and the flashing and the hardware, the struts are another six, seven hundred dollars for all the struts for the roof. So we'll have about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars into just the mounting hardware. 
All right, so we're putting in these brackets. These brackets, because this roof, part of the roof's already existing. So I'm going to show you how Jeff does this. First of all, he's going to find the truss that we're looking for. Basically just looking for the, for the truss, put a nail in to make sure we're hitting it. And once you find it, put a mark on the roof. And the next one will be four feet from that. That's the layout of most trusses. Every two feet, or every four feet with these brackets. They'll end up looking like that. See, that's what was happening. Yeah. Okay, so first we start out, we're putting a little bit of caulking, roofing caulk on the back of this bracket. I usually help him with this part, but I'm holding the camera. And you're in the truss, you'll know you're in the truss. Now these, you can cut these down to size so you don't have to remove two rows of nails. We removed the nail here, and that, if you cut that down just like two inches, inch and a half, which is more than enough to give you the give you the amount of uh, protection you need there. One more nail to pull. Maybe we didn't pull that nail yet. Down there like that, get her sized in, and I'll cut that top shingle so that lays out flat like those. And there's this bolt goes in. Stick it in my fingers. There you go, Jeff. I could stick it in my hands. I'm definitely not left handed. Smart ass. So that's locked in. Smash it down. Now he puts a nail in. Above the line. And we'll come back through after we get this row and we'll tar all those down. That's how you do it. Good job, Jeff. <laughs>